a female perspective. <laughs> Have you ever thought of having your own children? Then I get my pleasure and my joy from my work. Who people were out or who felt safe to be out. Can't begin to imagine what that was like. Yeah, I didn't know much, but I knew that. Who would you say that's had an influence on you musically? Amazing, and it was absolutely no, amazing. No, not at all. My God made me this way. A female perspective. Today in Glasgow, I'm speaking to the one and only Conchita. I know that you've got an album release on the 16th of October in the UK. Yeah, really? exactly. How did you choose the songs to go on that album? Um, actually, I, I received many songs from all over the world. And for me, a song got just one chance. I need to listen to it and it needs to touch me. And... I, uh, lucky me, I had more than just those ones to fill a record, you know. So I really got, you know, side which would fit perfectly together. And I was definitely involved in the whole musical process. But as I said, I haven't released songs. So yeah, it's basically if it, if it touched me or not. And did you find any of the songs particularly challenging, either for you emotionally oh, or your range? Or... Definitely. I mean, there is a song on the record called The Other Side of Me. And it is, it is actually written or inspired because of this very situation when I won. The name of the songwriter is Eric and he's from Sweden. And he sent this song and wrote this, this message by saying he got so inspired by this energy and he felt and you know the whole situation. And so it is lyrical wise very touching, at least to me. And musically very challenging because I'm not really good at singing not loud. It's quite challenging to be soft. And usually you're still on stage on your own as a solo yeah. artist but one of the songs on the album you have a choral arrangement. Exactly. And how exactly. was that for you? Oh, beautiful. Because it, um, it, it's such a, such a strong song put that fire out and I think it, about 20 people like the choral and it it, it just gives the, the perfect lift to the song. Yeah, I really do have a very wide range of music styles on this record because I'm interested in yes. many different. That's what I also wanted to kind of, um, you know, achieve by presenting myself to the music industry. And you were in a boy band before. Yeah. But how did you feel being catapulted into the limelight? You literally thrust almost yeah. overnight that mega world. Yeah, part. still can't believe it. You know, as you said, you know, I spent most of the time of my career being not successful, not famous. So it is a whole new situation, not, not something that I, that I, you know, compensate in a year. So it's still so surprising to me that I, that I receive awards, that people actually show up just because my name is on, on the headline. You know, it's, it's, it's still so crazy, but I appreciate it and it's, it's beautiful. And I see that you don't really like the title of Icon or Walmart. No, I don't. But you, you are in that position where people do look up to yeah. you. They do, and it is flattering, but you know, it's hard to understand because at the end of the day, I think it's just me, and I'm not perfect, and I, I say stupid things, and I do things that you probably shouldn't do, but you know, it, yeah, I, I kind of have to accept it, I guess, but uh, it's, it's touching. Do you continue to strive, push boundaries and challenge yourself in, within your music? Definitely. Def you know, I, I think I got, I got a quite nice gift and talent, but I'm not Mariah Carey. So I, I'm really working hard on myself and I'm, I'm very hard on myself, actually, because, you know, I'm, I'm my worst and I want to remain a cheater. Oh, she was a fan. This is what I want to achieve for myself. What do you want to do with the album? I mean, obviously you're going to tour it and it, yeah. it's been in different countries already but what are your yeah. plans for the album? Well as it is my very first everything completely new to me and fresh and now I'm thinking of a live concept how can I put this record on the stage and what fits me on stage you know also the choice of the venues because yeah, back to the point I'm not Mariah Carey neither Madonna so I'm not gonna fill a stadium but you know I am excited about you know playing little event with hopefully a live live band you know which is nowadays not very common and, and quite expensive but you know these are the goals that I want to achieve for this record. Are you an interest in writing at all? Uh, yes, I do. I do. I'm working actually on my second album. And I, because as an artist, I felt the need, I at least have to try it, you know. I at least, for myself, I need to have, uh, that I can say that I wrote a song, you know, whether it's good or not. But, you know, 
to, to, to have that done. And I started doing so, and now I have about six. Just, just you know, I'm, I'm really, I feel that the creative process is now really stuck. And you've got your autobiography. Yeah. How was it for you retelling, because I've read certain parts about yeah. your life, retelling your story. Yeah. You're still quite young, yeah. but you've had a lot happen to you in yeah. that amount of time. Is it a difficult process? But I'm very young, and I denied to do it in the first place, because I said, I'm, I'm just 26, it's the, what do I think to? But the publisher, they forced me to think about it, and I did. And, and I'm very proud, because the book is now released in, in six languages, and the stories are very, you know, the whole process of creating this was, it felt like almost a gift because you get the chance to really watch it, your life at one peak. You know, you, you hardly think about, you know, what, what actually happened when I was 13. You know, you tend to forget those things. And in, in the whole process of creating the book, I called up friends and then my family and they asked them what, what do they remember. And some parts were more intense than others, definitely. When it comes to my teenage years, there was definitely... A, one of the most um, emotional emotional days while creating the book, you know, because, I mean, being a teenager is just not fun for no one, you know. So it's not just if you if you have another sexuality than, than most of the other kids or, or, you know, your skin tone or you have red hair. It's just, it's just a tough time. And and I felt the need to really stel- uh, tell the story of this specific time as well because I think that many kids nowadays, you know, they, they could be in a, in a similar situation and if it is probably inspiring to them or if they think, oh wow, okay, she did it that way, you know, so quickly. And I think, I would love to, I would, I would love if the message comes across that you have to find your own truth. You know, you can get inspired, but you really have to find your comfort zone and your, your way of doing things. Do you think that was one of the most challenging parts of your career, actually doing the book, to relive what you went through? That was challenging? Probably, yes. Gosh, I'm lucky. Because, you know, I mean, I've I've never really, in my system, I've never really lived or experienced real pain. You know what I mean? I've never been in a situation where I I thought, what should I do now? Never. So, lucky me if I can say that's the toughest challenge I've had to face yet. Can you just describe in a short sentence of... What was that moment like on stage when you won? Surreal. <laughs> Surreal. <laughs> you must look and, back at it a hundred times and think. I have to be completely honest, I don't have any memories through my eyes. I just know the pictures everyone know because I relive this moment by watching YouTube videos. And and that's basically how I reconstructed this moment. <laughs> so. What is next for you? Are you well, just going to enjoy the album? Well, I definitely will enjoy the album to promote my, my record here. God, I, I'm, I'm just so thankful. Thank you so much. So much, and it's been a pleasure to talk to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Waking in the rubble Walking over glass Neighbors say we're trouble Well, that time has passed Peering from the mirror No, that isn't me A stranger getting nearer Who can this person be? You wouldn't know me at all today From the fading light of life you